Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect 2. This is your host, River Foxen, and we are going to be uh, finishing up this uh, mission here. Oh, let's see what to do. So we got that terminal. So I think the Principal terminals all look the same. They're these the ATM looking things, right? That's horrible. Oh, well, maybe not. No, I haven't had any luck. Hmm. She insists it was legal. I don't know. Nope, oh, here's a terminal. Nope, that's a purchase terminal. Welcome to Baria Frontiers. Our sales kiosk is over there. Hmm. No? Shepard, I... I don't suppose you'd remember me. I'm Shiala. We met on Pharos during the Geth attack. Saren had given me to the Thorian creature as a slave, and you killed it, and saved me. I promised to help Zeus Hope recover. I'm actually here on Ilium for just that purpose. Hmm. How's Zeus Hope doing? We've done a lot of rebuilding. We even salvaged some useful material from the Geth ship you destroyed. The Exogeny researchers got called back to their headquarters, however, along with what was left of the Thorian. Is it Exogeny pushing colonists around again, or did the Thorian somehow survive our fight? No. Exogeny has been very supportive of Zeus Hope. They actually seem to want to help us survive, and the Thorian is dead. Though, after all you went through to kill it, I understand your concern. I fear that after our adventure on Pharos, my purpose on Ilium will seem mundane by comparison. Is there something I can do to help? I'd appreciate it. I've reached the limits of my diplomatic abilities, and I'd prefer not to start trouble. Some of the colonists had health problems as a result of the Thorian control. We hired a colonial survey group to do some medical scans. But the medical contract apparently allows the company to perform invasive procedures without our consent. That's why I'm here. Hmm. Wait a minute, Shiala. You were only green when the Thorian made you a clone. The real you was blue like normal Asari. Those health problems, I said, were related to the Thorian control. This is mine. A few months after the Thorian died, my skin pigment changed. My biotic abilities are unstable as well. I'm also having vivid dreams about my time with the Thorian. It is disconcerting. Tell me more about the contract you signed for these scans. Barrier Frontiers was interested in our problem. They offered to perform medical scans and deliver treatment for next to nothing. I should have known it was too good to be true, but we were desperate. In the fine print, we apparently agreed to let them perform invasive follow-up procedures if they deem it valuable. Which they have. Can they actually force these procedures on you? No. But they can declare us in breach of contract. Which means we're responsible for the full price we would have paid normally. Zoo's hope just got back on its feet. There's no way we can afford that, Shepard. What kind of health problems did the colonists have? Headaches or muscle spasms similar to what they experienced while under Thorian control. Sometimes, the colonists near another former Thorian victim shared sensations like heat or pain. It has to be a result of trace amounts of the Thorian's parasitic spores. You can see why we'd want it studied and cured. I'll talk to the survey group. I appreciate it, Shepard. The Barrier Frontier's representative knows about the issue. Hmm. Hmm, interesting. Let's see here. Guess I can talk to her over here. Can I help you with something? I'm looking for an Asari warrior oh. named Samara. Wait, why? Do you have a problem or did she kill somebody already? Oh, this is uh for a different quest. Relax. I just need to speak with her. Good. Samara's the first Justicar I've seen on Ilium. If I'm lucky, things will stay peaceful. She went to the commercial spaceport a few hours ago. If you want to get there, the pedestal on that balcony will summon a cab. 
Just be polite when you meet her. Justicars embody our highest laws, and they usually stay in Asari space. She's not used to dealing with aliens. Hmm. Is Samara really that dangerous? If you follow the laws, you've got nothing to fear. And a Justicar would die without hesitation to protect the innocent. But their code orders them to stop lawbreakers, with lethal force in most cases. And everyone skirts the law somehow on Ilium. If someone tried to bribe her, she'd be obliged to gun them down as a matter of honor. I'm hoping to avoid that. Hmm. Why are you worried about other species coming into contact with her? If a Justicar kills an Asari, none of us questions it. But if she killed a human... Do you think the Alliance would understand her actions and respect her authority? You can't even figure out your own religions. It's a big diplomatic incident just waiting to happen. Tell me about the Justicars. They're a monastic order. They've given up their families and possessions to follow their code. Most of them are on some lifelong mission, but they'll always stop to deal with any injustice they encounter, which can be a problem. In some ways, they're a lot like the Spectres, undertaking personal missions. Spectres are authorized by the Council. Who do Justicars represent? What? That's, like, I don't know a good human metaphor. They represent their code, our code. It's closer to a religious group than a legal branch. No law-abiding Asari would question a Justicar's orders. Nobody becomes a Justicar for personal gain. And they die before breaking their oaths. Hmm. I'm looking for Samara. Like I said, she's at the commercial spaceport. You can hail a cab at the pedestal on that balcony over there. Thanks for your help. Good luck with the Justicar. Try not to piss her off. All right. Let's see here. So then is there someone over here? I need to, oh, I think she's the one I need to talk to. I saw your conversation, human. You're here to complain about the medical contracts those colonists from Pharaoh signed. I suggest you leave. Your life is short enough. Do not waste what time you have bothering me. Why are you insisting on these tests? What use could they possibly be? Their use is not your concern. A legal binding contract was signed. Nothing else matters. All of you. Humans. Salarians. Turians. You come to our planet, then complain that our laws don't suit you. The galaxy would be a better place if nobody but the Asari had ever dragged themselves out of the primordial muck. Hmm. Why are you so prejudiced against aliens? <sighs> Where do I begin? With Salarian explorers unleashing the Rachni upon us, then unleashing the Krogan to correct their mistake? Or the Turians, so eager to bomb every problem away? Or humans, the new arrivals who already think they should be in charge? Every war that has plagued this galaxy has been caused by your people. My people's deaths are on your hands. Whose deaths are we talking about exactly? The mother of my daughters was killed on the Quarian homeworld during the initial Geth uprising. My daughters died on the Citadel when the Geth attacked. One worked in the embassy. The other was a greeter for the consort. I'm not speaking in hypotheticals, human. The aliens will never be my allies. The best they can do is give me useful medical data. Why was your bond made on the Quarian homeworld? Studying the Quarians. Not their technology, but their music. She loved all their art. Said they had old souls. I think that's where my daughters got it from. Both of them love talking with people, exploring new cultures. They sound like wonderful people. The galaxy is lesser for their loss. Yes, it is. Do you think they'd want you to do this? I, I'm not. I, I didn't. I'm sending an amended contract. No more tests, no fees. There's enough grief in this galaxy. I don't need to add to it. Well, there we go. Took care of that. Did you get the star charts? Yeah. I had to deal with Arinia, though. 
feel like I need a shower. What do you expect? She's a pure blood. They're all like that. Hmm. Interesting. You did it. I just got the revised contracts. Thank you, Shepard. You've saved Zeus' hope again. I don't think I could have... Is it always like this? Yesterday's problems lingering in some new form. Isn't anything ever just fixed? You've got the power to make a difference, Shiala. Not everyone does. You're right. You gave us a chance by saving the colony. I can't let them down. I won't. Thank you for what you've done here, Shepard. I'll keep doing what I can. Maybe sometime when I'm not organizing the colony and you're not doing whatever you do. Uh oh. Think she's into us. Well, I already have an Asari girlfriend. I don't need to. The blue one is fine. You're Let's sure gateway yeah. weapons and armor. There we go. Alright. Hacking mini game. Maybe they're looking for text. Oh no. What about you? Going to try and make it as a commando? Why not? Every Asari has biotics. Might as well use them, right? You can sell something that dangerous with just a contract and a waiver? These are the Terminus systems. Everything's dangerous and everything's for sale. Either we tax hmm. and monitor it. Oh, so these have to be done like one at a time. Get a monopoly. I mean, they were in order, I should say. Alrighty. So the ATM th looking things are the you know, Irinia won't even upload. Talk to the non right, customers. no. What's it's like this? Turned pure Shepard, this is Liara. I've got the data. Come see me when you've got a moment. All She's right. the last of a dying breed. Won't be many pure blood Asari left in a few generations. Oh, I do I get renegade for doing this for her? I guess I did. Like awful thing to legalize. All the dangers are right there on the package. It's legally required. Another difficult development for human expansion as the colony on Horizon has been attacked. The council has suggested that the attacks are a tragic coincidence. He sounds happy. Alright. Let's go talk to Liara. After that, I want to do the uh, the um, mission to get uh, Samara. But let's see what Liara has to say. Shepard, it's good to see you again. Thank you for getting me that system data. Here. It's not much, but hopefully it will help you on your mission. Do you remember the Shadow Broker? With the data you got me, I may be able to find information caches from his agents. Hmm. I've got a lot on my plate. Remind me who the Shadow Broker is. He's the most powerful and dangerous information broker in the galaxy. No one knows who he is. Given his resources, there's speculation he may actually be a group operating under one name. Are you on the run from the Shadow Broker? I can help you. Actually, it would be more accurate to say that the Shadow Broker is on the run from me. We crossed paths not long after you died. Since then, I've been working to take him down. With this data, I'm a step closer. Hmm. I've never seen you ready to execute someone in cold blood. What did the Shadow Broker do to you? I was on a job with a friend. The Shadow Broker's people caught us. My friend didn't escape. I don't know if he's dead or being interrogated, but I need to find him. I owe him my life. And I need to make the Shadow Broker pay for what he did. 
You can't come with me because you're after the Shadow Broker? What if I help you find him? I'm sorry, Shepard. The galaxy doesn't work that way. I need to find leads, trace information. I need to work. I can't do that on the Normandy. I wish I could. Hmm. Let me know if there's anything else I can do. Thanks, Shepard. I will. No. Is there anything else I can help you with? Hmm. There's an Asari named Samara here on Ilium. Do you know where I could find her? Samara. Yes. Oh yes, I think she I already asked her this question. And, and I've already talked to the tracking officer Dara. Dara. You can find Dara at the transportation hub. Thanks for the help. That's all I needed to know. Of course. If there's anything else I can help you with, let me know. I think this opens up a uh, another quest, but I'm gonna get Samara first. I'll talk to you later, Liara. All right. Hello, Commander Shepard. Liara will be pleased to see you. All I'll right, talk I've to already you talked to you. Of course, Commander. All right. Ilium is the gateway to the Traverse, but as that gate opened to the Assessment thinks things are noting concerns that new technological discoveries have set the market balance and cost skilled workers their jobs. Later today, we'll hear from survey team talking about the latest technology. How much it will cost. This is a recall notice. All users of Coros brand medical radiation systems are asked to discontinue treatment immediately. Sometimes you say these things, and I don't know. Maybe it's because you had a Batarian father. Wow, you're pulling that on me? My father was an excellent caretaker. And you're... you're... The word you're looking for is pure blood. Hmm. <laughs> some, uh... Some drama. Pure some blood Asari a drama. Potential. That's how we get throwbacks, like the Ardak uh, I thought I could... Hey, I don't like pure some on a cab either, here. Maybe it's the other cab. This looks like a cab stand. I'm telling you, relax. Vax will never notice a few missing pieces. Mm. No, I can't get in. Ah, here we go. Cab console. Commercials. Baseport. Hmm, something shady's going on there. All right, who's going on this mission with me? Well, let's see here. I'm trying to think. I want someone with heavy weapons. Yeah, do I want Garrus or Zaid? Well, I took Garrus on the last mission, so let's take uh, Zaid this time and let's take. Let's see, do I want Kasumi or Miranda? I like Kasumi, so I'm gonna add her. All right, let's see here. Not, I don't want an extra charge of. Uh, extra rank of charge right now because I don't tend to use that ability. Um, he can't grab anything yet. Neither can she. Now let's see. Weapon wise. Let's see here. We are using Vindicator, Eviscerator, Locust, Phalanx, Arc Projector. Those are the things I like. Zaid. We are using the Vindicator and the Sniper Rifle. Let's see here. Actually, let's change this to the Matok. And change this... Hmm. Actually, no. I'm gonna... Go back to the... Let me think about using this thing. Let's just give it to him for now. See how he likes it. 
And then for you, Tempest and Carnifex. Yep. Where do you think you're going? I'm taking my goods to Omega, Detective. You're not going anywhere, Merchant. Not until I solve this murder. I had nothing to do with that. It was those mercenary thugs you can't seem to get rid of. The victim was your business partner, and I'm not ruling you out. I'll let you know when you can leave. What about that Justicar that just showed up? Everyone says she might go crazy and start killing. I need to leave. She'll only kill the unjust, so I'm sure you have nothing to worry about, Pitney Four. Find me in the station if you need me. Hmm. Alright, let's see here. Talk to the locals. Well, you seem to be someone I can talk to. What do you want? I've already got mercs wanting to kill me like they did my partner. I don't need any more trouble. As if that weren't enough, some Asari Justicar showed up this morning. All the natives are scared of her. I've got to get off this world. Has Samara actually done anything yet? The Asari say that Justicars are lethal in a fight. And if they so much as smell corruption, they start shooting. The thing is, corruption isn't that hard to find around here. Tell me how to find the Justicar. She's in the alley where my business partner was murdered. A detective sealed the area, so you'll have to talk with her if you want to go there. Hmm. Why do you think it was mercenaries? Dagny Kerr was cutting through a back alley last night when someone killed him with a shotgun. I saw his body this morning. They'd used modded rounds. That means Eclipse Mercs. You must know something about these Eclipse. I occasionally do business with them. But only in well-lit places. With my guards. And only after the creds clear. This is a scummy bunch, even by Merc standards. They sell red sand, all kinds of illegal item. And they are all cold-blooded killers. Why would these Mercs kill him? And why do you think they're coming after you, too? I have no idea. We're innocent merchants. But they killed him, so they must be after me, too. I have to work the angles and get out of here. You don't seem too broken up about your partner's death. Dakni Kerr knew the risks when he took to spacing. Right now, my worry is me. It's unhealthy to be a Volus in the Nosastra spaceport right now. Especially a Volus named Pitney Four. I should go. Alright. Well, interesting. Let's see, is there anyone else to talk to? Or is that the only local I needed to talk to? Hmm. There's a spaceport official. Alright. Well, let's talk to her. I wanted to be a Justicar when I was young. Every sorry does, I guess. Hmm. Alright. Shipping details. Where? There's a detective over there. All right, well, this is a good place to uh, end the episode, so uh, I'm going to uh, call it an episode here. Uh, if you enjoyed this Let's Play, be sure to like and subscribe and click the bell icon if you're so inclined, and I'll see you later.